Hello all, in this video we will see about a react native flat list. Here we have a rendered uh, list of users. When we scroll to the end, it fetches more users data. If you are building a news feed, a product catalog or any other list based contents, pagination is a must have feature that enhances users experience and also optimizes the performance. In this video, let's see how we are going to implement it. Let's start. First, let's go to flatlist react native document. Click on flatlist. Here we have a TypeScript and JavaScript code. Our project is in TypeScript. Let's copy all the code here. I'm just replacing with the copied code. Let's go to a random user.me. This is a website where we can get a random users so they provide a api it's a free and open source it's like a lorem epsom but for people they have mentioned let's head to documentation here click on our page nation this is the api which i mentioned we'll just copy and hit it in the browser it's not in a readable format Let's install a extension called a JSON Viewer. It's a Chrome extension on JSON Viewer. Add it to Chrome. Once installed, uh, you can uh, view the response like this in a readable format. Okay, when we hit this API, this is the results we'll be getting. So on the results keyword, uh, we have an array of objects. It's a user object. Um, in this API, uh, we have a params called page results and seed so we can give the page number and uh, how many users we want in uh, results so let's change the page to one so now in page one we are getting our uh, 10 users and if i have changed it to two so now we are getting only two users in this array of object. Let's change it to three. Now I'm getting uh, just three users. Okay, seed equal to ABC. Seed is just like a, it's a unique value. Whenever we give the same uh, value to the seed, it always generates the same users data. It's more of uh, used for uh, testing purposes because we don't. If we don't want to create a random uh, user data whenever he hits the API, and if we need a consistent result, we can use this uh, seed. Let's copy this uh, API. Let's create a folder called SRC. Let's create a folder service. Okay, sorry. Get users dot ts. We will create a function to fetch the users. And now we need to install uh, Axios. npm install Axios. Okay, let's move this terminal to the right. Okay. Let's clear and install Axios. Import Axios. Okay, 
create a function or get users. It's a async function to make the API call. Let's put a try catch block to catch the error. Copy and paste the URL here. So in this API response, uh, in the results key only we are getting the array of users. So we have to return a response dot a data dot results. So then only we'll be getting the users uh, array. So in response dot data only the actual response uh, we will get. So let's modify the code here. Oh, we will add a use effect to call the API. First, import the use effect. So in the use effect, we should uh, declare our empty dependency array so that the use effect will be called uh, only once. So now we will call the get users function in the use effect. Get users function returns a promise, so we can't able to call the get users function directly from the use effect because uh, using a sync in use effect is not allowed in React. So it just throws the error. So let's create a one more function inside the use effect. Like name it as initial function. So we'll call it inside from use effect. In this function, we can be able to use a sync. Let's create a state with use state so, to have the users list in it. Currently, we don't have any type, so I'm just put as any. Let's have one more state for uh, loading. Before making the API call, we'll make the loading as true. Okay, the get users has imported. Let's set the users in the state make the loading as false let's print and check the users the console so here we have the list of users let's rename the item to user card So here also we don't have any type for a user currently so we'll just make it as any. Now let's design a user card here.
okay i think it takes a uh, time So I just paste the code here to shorten the video. So let's use this uh, styles. So now we need to import the image. And now we are getting an issue so this issue is regarding to we have not yet passed the users into the flat list so let's just send the users in the flat list okay the users got rendered now and this issue is due to having the same key for uh, more than one user so for this we have to send a unique id for each user in the key extractor or else we can keep a unique key which is randomly created so we use a map.random method to create the unique key so this will create a unique key and will be assigned to each user okay now we got rid of the issue let's add a one more uh, function which more here we will uh, set loading to true before making the API call So whenever a user scroll to an end, this method will be called. Okay, first we should uh, get the page number as params. So let's change it. Okay, we should get the page as uh, params in this for this function. Let's have a state for uh, holding the current page. Let's assign a 1 to the state. Now on use effect, the AP gets called with page as 1 and the users will be listed from the page 1. And in fetch more, we have to increment the page whenever the user scrolls the flat list to the end. So we'll uh, declare a variable as uh, next page and uh, will increment from the current page number now we have to add the new users to the existing users list oh let's uh, keep the next page number as the current page number the state make the loading as false let's put the if condition if this loading is uh, false then we will return the fetch more function okay so we'll add uh, one more props to the flat list as on end reached so whenever it reaches the end we should call the fetch more function and also we can have a threshold value let's put uh, on in threshold as 0 0.1 let's add a list footer component to the flat list when loading is true we have to show an activity indicator Make the size as large.
let's put the color as blue to make it visible let's have the style as a margin top as 20 okay now this is the flat list whenever i scroll to an end you can able to see a activity indicator okay let's make it as margin vertical so you can able to see for uh, just few seconds the user is repeated i think there is a issue in code okay here we need to send next page to the get users function instead of current page okay let's uh, refresh and check now okay now it's fine so you can see when all we scroll to an end the activity indicator loads and uh, the new user gets fetched